All right, here we go. Yo, 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 what up, though, man? Milk man in his building, Detroit that Rap word, News. What's that word? What's good, my guy? Slow motion, man. Hey, man, appreciate you uh, sitting down with me. Uh, welcome to Mogul State of Mind, man. I think you're the, the first Detroit blogger. Hey, do you consider yourself a blogger? I mean, yeah, you can say that. Yeah. I'm, you a know, blog, I'm a blog for sure. Okay, because, you know, sometimes people take the, the term blogger as a term of offense. You know what I'm saying? We're like, man, I ain't no blogger. I'm a, you know, I'm a, I'm a real nigga. Not I no mean, blogger. I mean, if you a blogger, you a blogger. You still can be a real whatever, you know. Yeah, you can say <laughs> right. Things Two things can be true, right? Yeah. Um, but no, I, I've been a fan of your page. Mm -hmm. Definitely tapping into the scene because you know, of course, I'm from Detroit, but I live in Texas. Okay. So, and me being down in Texas, using platforms such as you know, saying you Hip Hop Lab, or uh, was that Detroit Rap Daily? Is that what it is? Yeah, Did I you, think so. I, uh, I I blocked them a long time. Okay, ago. all right. They cool <laughs> though. Like that was like a couple years you know, ago. A blogger smoke. They was taking content and not saying where they was getting it from. Copy and paste, man. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. it's cool though, but I'm beyond that line. Got true. you. Hey, trust me. In Texas, in the blog scene, it, the same shit be happening down there too. Yeah. Niggas, but um, but yeah, you definitely one of those pages that give me like kind of the the insight into the city of what's going on. So you do a great job of that, man. And for those for who sure. may not be familiar with Detroit rap news. What's kind of the premise of your page for those who may just be hearing about you? Okay, Detroit Rap News um, is basically highlighting the whole city as far as, like, all the artists. Like, I want to say, I don't want to say top tier, but you can say yeah. top tier artists, you feel me? But all artists, top tier upcoming artists and uh, surrounding cities, even out of, out of towners, they be tapping in now, you yeah. feel me? But, but it was based on the city, though. Originally. Gotcha. You feel me? What made you jump into the the blogging space, and then we will get the story? Why into the blogging space? Uh, it's a it's a story. So it's like I was managing an artist. His name was Nice Greedy at the time. Uh, I was like promoting him like a brand almost. Like I ain't had no job and then I was just heavy promotion with him. As far as like uh. When he had dropped a, a video, I searched up an artist from Detroit that'd be popping band gang or whoever such and such yeah. on Twitter. And then I copy and paste nice, greedy new video and just keep spamming. So at the time I'm running his Instagram and everything, he just got out of jail. And, uh, she, I always been a fan of like all the Detroit music. Everybody, you know, I ain't got no bias. I ain't got no problems with nobody or nothing like that. But I was a real big fan and I was in the music lane yeah. in studios, but. Uh, going to Nice Greedy, me on his page, like, managing him. I'm on his Instagram one day. I'm at the crib, man. I'm staying with my mama. A lot of shit going on. Uh, One night, I'm just, like, I'm fucked up for real. I'm like, shit. Uh, I'm talking to God, you feel me? Like, basically, like, show me, show me my purpose, you know? Show me my lane, what I'm supposed to be doing, you feel me? And then she had that morning, uh, I'm on his page and somebody DM'd him like Chief Keep News or something, right? So I look at the page and shit. It, they was trying to get him to promote or something at the time, his music or some shit. So I'm like, uh, it's like a museum of Chief Keep though, like with all his pictures and shit like that, because I guess Chief Keep don't he wasn't posting a lot right then. So uh it clicked in my head, like, you feel me, Detroit rap news. Me. And I'm like a platform because everybody was like the motion we got now. I feel like we had that in 20 shit, 2016, 2010. I can go all the way back. But yeah. 2016, 2015. Like I feel like we've been had the motion. You feel me? So uh, I'm like, shit, we need our own platform. It only makes sense. Like it's like a cheap key thing that clicked in my head, like Detroit rap news. You feel me? And shit, we needed, we needed. A platform like for the whole city. I'm like, I could put everybody on this platform and shit. Don't I ain't got no problems with nobody, so I could do this. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't harmful. It's like I'm just promoting y'all music. You know, not knowingly, not knowing that I'm gonna, you know, take off like this. You feel me? <laughs> I'm just doing all the kind of my heart, and then I fuck with the city and with the sound. And it's like upcoming artists that I'm pushing. It's like he ain't got an ear, so this is another outlet. 
for me to push him as well. You feel me? So long story short, shit. I just got to running it. Like, I follow all the rappers, you feel me? I'm spamming this before, like, you know how the bot's going on. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, turn up 200, <laughs> whatever the fuck they be saying on there. But I'm on there just spamming, though, like, just fire, whatever. I'm saying whatever I want to say on there, but I'm on everything. Like, I'm on there, bing. Every time I'm ping, I'm on there. So I end up DMing all the rappers, and I'm like, uh, you know, I'm going to push all music regardless. If you can give me a shout out, that'll be cool. If you can't, I ain't tripping. She, a couple artists started, you know, shout my page out. Got the going. Yeah. Now, at that time when you jump off into doing uh, Detroit rap news, what other blogs was going on? Is Joe for Show? For, for Show Magazine. Mag and, doing show it? Mag and uh, Hip Hop Lab. Okay. Yeah. Them the only ones I can say as far as like, YouTube, man, yeah. hell yeah. Joseph McFashion land over, so. Now, when you jumped in, was it Instagram first or YouTube? Because you was a vide videographer as well, right? Yeah, but I had to see the camera just came into play from uh, dealing with Nice Greedy, you feel me? He really gotcha. made me pick up the camera like, bro, shoot my videos, and I'm like, shit, fuck it, you feel me? And then from there, it was like I needed the camera anyways to get content. It just yeah. made sense. As I start going along in my journey, you feel me? Now, uh, I, I noticed with the blogs in Detroit, mm -hmm. y'all stay away from doing lists. Like, y'all don't shit. drop out too many lists. At least, at least I haven't seen too many lists get I mean, dropped. some, like, lately, it's been some lists going on, you feel me? As far as, like, Rich Town and, uh, I think they call it Murder Me. Okay, I see Murder Me. they been sending, like, collabs to me because I fuck with Rich Town, you feel me? Murder Me, I just got hit to him. But uh, they'd be sending their little thing. I don't even pay it no mind. I'll just accept the collab, you feel me? Yeah. Shit, they done did a couple lists, like, last month. But I don't do it just because it's like, for one, Say Cheese is, like, one of the ones that did that. So it's like, that's what they look for, you feel me? I'm not about to damn near copy and paste that. I can, in a way, and turn it around, you know, the narrative, but not for no big-ass artist. Like, it got to be, like, the next 15 up and coming, you feel me? Next yeah. breakout. Like, I'll do a breakout at the end of the year. You okay. Me? Like, the top 20 breakout I feel. And then I'll say why with all they stats. Okay, gotcha. But I ain't just making no list, though, because it, it brings too much conflict, bro. Yeah, because um, as you you probably may be aware, I dropped the Detroit Gatekeepers list. Yeah, I just got hit. I ain't going to lie. I, I did my research last night. Like, <laughs> That's cool. Because I'm like, because I seen it on your Instagram, but I I couldn't find a list. So I just went to scroll down and I found the list. Yo. And so I did one in 2020 mm -hmm. at the p pandemic. So that was my second one. Okay. Three years later, I dropped this one. Was there any changes from the first one? Yeah, because my premise is, the goal of the list is to give flowers to the people that's usually behind the scenes. That's anyway. Kind of doing their thing, right? Um, the first list kind of had your traditional had trick trick on it. It had, I think I want to say I have Ezra on the first one. I got to go back and look at the first list. So I wasn't really trying to keep duplicating the same right, list. Right. So the goal was like for the last, for the last six months or so, or the last year, last year, who, who was like really heavy on the scene? So a lot of people thought like I just sat down and just put names on the list. Or right. no, I really asked some of the people that actually got put on the list, like that's behind the scenes, like ask amongst your peers, mm -hmm. who are your top ten people that you feel like moving in the city? And I probably sent that out to about seven or eight people, and I start seeing who was like the common names on the list and where they was ranking them, right. and they was all kind of feeling the same way. And so that was the whole premise of the list is to show love to those, give flowers to those who behind the scene. Yeah. But of course, I know what lists do too. It's a conversation Same starter. Thing. And you know. It's love. It's a love and hate thing. That's yeah. what it is. Um, and so I saw Vezo. He wasn't fucking with the list. I saw him on uh, Lando on Hip Hop Lab last week. He said, I ain't know what I was talking about. Who, Lando? No, nah, Vezo. Oh, okay. Vezo. But then Vezo said the list was good. But then he said, I don't know what I'm talking about. Then he said it was good, but it's bad. And it was like... It's like who you feel like... My thing, I did see the list. It's a couple people on there I don't know. Yeah. Me? So I can't... Like, I don't know them, but a lot of them on there, though, I ain't gonna lie. They... Yeah. Chanel and Jordan Rich and... 
you know, Lando. I don't know if he was going any order though. One through that. But yeah, it was. I don't order. think it matter anyways. But oh, um, if if you could have add one person to the gatekeeper list, who would have been that you felt like probably was missing on there? So what you you basing it off of like open the doors like, like people how you had doing? a power platform and influence to help artists get to the next level. I'll put me on that list. You put you on okay. Yeah. No, for sure. It's just cause I ain't I ain't just saying it to be cocky. It's just like shit. I mean, I feel like I'm opening doors just by the time I the time I done put in just doing the effortless. You know what yeah. I mean? I just feel like probably me. Oh yeah. Now Detroit is in a dope ass space, um, music wise. Um, some people may say Detroit number one, Memphis number two, or Memphis number one, Detroit number two when it comes to the music scene that's running hip hop right now as far as sound. Who out of Memphis right now? What you got what? Glorilla, you got um Glow kinda of dying off of sexy red. You think so? Hell yeah. Because what Glow got what three hits, right? I mean, she did it, but it's like who took over this summer, you feel me? Yeah. It's sexy red, brown, huh? You don't think two of them can exist in the same space? No, oh, they can, but I'm just saying, like, like she just took over. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you. I like, get what you're just, saying. I don't know how long her run going to go, <laughs> but she just stepped in girl, Glorilla and just, you know, who put you, her in the back a little bit, I feel like. Who you feel is more talented between the two? Shit. I don't listen to none of them. I ain't going to lie, but <laughs> shit. I, ain't, I don't listen to none of them. Got you. But who else? Memphis got with money bag, yo. Uh, I like Memphis song. Um, I can't release. I ain't been in tune to the outside how I used to be this year. You know, yeah. it normally it been Florida, Memphis, as you say, you know, and uh, shit, the regular motherfuckers. But yeah, Memphis, I can't really just pinpoint where uh, what's his name? Who, do, who just did that song with Skilla and fuck that tape be on her? It's called Mama. What's his name? Rob from now. Where he from? New Orleans. Okay, see. Yeah, you're from New Orleans. Yeah, I like New Orleans, too. Yo, I, I feel like this, and Memphis probably going to get mad at me like this. I think Memphis make great music, mm -hmm. and they put out dope artists, but they don't change the culture that people be like them. Like Detroit, you see, from when coming up, Detroit, you only saw Cartier's in Detroit and Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Now, I thought I seen Sada came down there fucking with Sauce Walker. You see Cardi's in everywhere right now. Yeah, it's flooded. I ain't gonna lie. I'm listening. When I first got to Texas, everything was chopped and screwed. Now everything's sped up on Detroit type beeps. Detroit cadence and flow. It's our time, though. At the, and then we we so different. Yeah. We been different. Like, you know, just before music started taking off for of everybody and we had an eye on us. Jeez, you can go out of town and somebody would be like, okay, he from the D, or you would say that, and then they'd see your demeanor and just be knowing, like, oh, yeah, he from that way. You feel me? But who would start gravitating towards everybody now is crazy. Cartier's and that shit is insane, though. Do you, gonna lie. Detroit got a lot of, like, strong artists in, but... Yeah, what type of artists? Like, got a lot of strong, like, strong, strong artists. Strong artists. You know what I'm saying? That's moving around. Like, mm -hmm. you got the Peasies. Of course, you got... Sada, Skillers, Baby Tron. And you hear all these names, solid body of work, solid artists. But some people say we don't, Detroit don't ever have like that, just that major hit, that major artist that kind of hit the major tours and things of that nature. It's still kind of more underground, can show up and get a bag, but it just don't hit that next level of superstar. I'm saying we got motherfucking Eminem, T. Grizzly, like T. Grizzly is... You talking about like a hit? Like, shit, he already did a hit. Yo. Yeah. Shit. What's, what's the main hits that Detroit had? Okay, if, if you start within shit. the last, Dave's let's say, seven Lope. years. They, maybe, How long, Dave's Loaf, uh, try me? How long ago was that? Uh, that was that might have been 10. Shit. Then first day out. Some I'm just going to, shit, I'm going to just say, try me first day out. Shit. Uh, Two million up. You throw that up there with that peasy. You get that high. I'm a, I can't put it in there. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. I want to, but I can't. What was holding you back from putting it up there? Because I feel like it ain't. It could have flourished a little bit more. Mm. Feel me? Like far as like T Grizzly and she tried me and shit. That yeah. shit was like kind of different. You know what I'm saying? 
Not to say it wasn't different. It's just like it ain't have enough. Uh, it's probably a little bit of momentum, bro. It was mm. there though. It was there. It broke some doors now for me, but I don't think it was like a solid ass hit. Like, like it ain't last long enough. I feel like you know what I'm saying. Do you, Do you feel like hits are even important anymore? Like to get that major Billboard type of hit. Shit, you gonna need some type of hit. Like mm. at least. My city, you going you gonna need a hit from this bitch, like you know what I'm saying, Tay B style. Shit, just, that's just one to bring up for Skillers. Like yeah. that just that flooded for a whole little summer. It gave his momentum though. You feel me? And then he got signed, so it's like shit. I feel like you need that hit. You need at least a hit from your your inner city wherever you at. So what about Gorgeous? Is it a hit? Oh, uh. I like gorgeous. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I don't know how mainstream it is because I, I hear don't listen to radio the and shit like that. But yeah, I ain't know. He's trying to that. push it, but I don't think it's just mm. you being a blogger. Were you surprised to see Sada and T get back cool again? I wasn't surprised. No, I ain't gonna say I was surprised. Anything happened, and then it's like I don't know their situation either. Yeah, you feel me. But she, once I get to seeing Skiller with T, is like, I know Sada and Skiller ain't just into it. You feel me? Yeah. So, she, line of dots up. That shit look good. The, the day that you, I think you posted a picture. I don't know if I saw it on your page first, but when we saw that picture with Skiller, Sada, and T, it, it seemed like the city was kind of like excited, like finally. She, I want to hear some more of that music. I, I want to hear some OT and. And Sada, you feel me? But now we got Skillet 2 to put in the play, so I want to hear what a song like them going to sound like. But I want to hear T and Sada again. I ain't going to lie. Got you. Now, I I put um, Lando number one on the gatekeeper list. Um, Some people say that Baby Tron is the Eminem of this generation. What is your take on Baby Tron, his talent, and what do you do? Baby Tron, fire, bro. He is fire. He she he different, bro. I can't lie. He got a different type of his whole little persona, and he go crazy. You know what I'm talking about like his bars, yo, some shit, motherfucking like fuck with your head. Like, they don't gotta play that back. <laughs> but she Eminem, bro. When I think about Eminem, Eminem is my favorite rapper, bro. I can't lie to you. So mm. it's like I can't really put Baby Tron over Eminem, but and I can't put him in the same shoes as Eminem at all because it's like. That's like damn, that's disrespectful. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Now, uh, um, people in Texas um, argue that nobody listens to Eminem. Shit, don't nobody listen to him for sure. I still go back and play some songs I want to hear. You feel me? Yeah. But ain't nobody just riding around and just banging it. But shit, I'm going to play that shit sometimes. You feel me? I ain't going to lie. So what's a mood that you go back to play an Eminem song? What is a good time and a place to play it? Emmanuel shit, record. I might play this shit randomly. I ain't gonna lie. Patiently waiting him yeah. with 50 Cent motherfucking goddamn, uh, I've been so many places. Yeah. That shit with D12, bro, I will go down his list. It's it's so much song. It's like features and shit I like too. Like old ass, mm-hmm. uh, diss songs with him. This yeah. is where I go play. But shit, for the most part, uh, Patiently Waiting is one of my favorite verses from him. Gotcha. Him and, uh, Hey, 50 on there and Louis Banks some shit. It's a lot of songs, bro. I don't need. But shit, a time to play it, I might be painting or something. <laughs> okay. And you know, I might just cut that shit on. Now, do you ride, the whip. ride around the city? You you throw him on? I might throw him on the whip, bro. Gotcha. Dolo, you feel me? Or shit. If somebody would be, they just going to have to take off. <laughs> they take off. You fuck. I'm playing that shit, bro. The beats, too, was different back yeah. then, too. You got to know, like, man, shit. Them beats was crazy, bro. I probably listen to L mostly more working out. Okay. See, I ain't never, I need, I might need to do that. That's yeah, I, I can get down with it then. Um, so here it is in the city, man. What part of Detroit you from? I'm from the west side. The west side. Project, baby, man. There you go. Well, um, where in the west? Jeffrey Project. Okay. Yeah, I mean, my second hood is Number Street, so not too far from there. Okay. All right, shit, man, coming up, like, who who do you feel like produced the better rappers in the city, East Side or West Side? Shit, I'm gonna go. Bro, I'm gonna go West. 
I'm going to go west, you feel me? Yeah. Because we got some motherfuckers, bro. We got, it's like legends that in the past, all type of shit. Yeah. You feel me? From the east, we got legends that in the past, but it's too many rappers on the west. And we damn near like, I ain't going to say we damn near started because you got east side cheddar boys, but <clears throat> shit, dope boys. You yeah. feel me? That just stomped it right there. Then right after them, it's team east. So I, I had a chance to interview Doughboy Dre, and I asked him if they did a versus right now, Doughboy Cash Out versus Team Eastside. In a versus right now, who you think will win? Using all their portfolio. They can use solo and group. Solo and group? Yeah. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Because it's like, I'm going to get a Doughboy's. If we had a time frame, you feel yeah. me? We went back to like, uh, Chance to make champions. Even they first shit, we run the cities and all them shit. You yeah. Know, we can bring them to, uh, what was they shit? Team East, what was they shit? Welcome to our side. Yeah. But shit, right now, it's like they they got too much as singles, solos. You feel me? Yeah, we team only East. got payroll right now, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. As far as like dope boys and Team East. Do you feel like right now females is running hip hop? Sexy red, bro. That's all I'm gonna say. And shit, Mars City, we got a lot of heavy hitters coming out. I don't really yeah. pay too much to the outskirts besides what's being played around me. And that's gonna be Sexy Red, uh, shit, whoever else be singing and shit like that. But um, yeah. from the city, though, we got some hitters, bro. I'm waiting on the female for Mars City to pop. Who, who you think is next, though? Who, who are your top three female artists that you think like really got a chance to get up out of here? Outside of Cash Dog, cause she can't, well, she can't count. Yeah, she already gone. Yeah. Uh, man, I'm gonna get my top top three up and coming right now. Uh, yeah, bro, who a pop? I'm a I'm a throw pretty brand there. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. She got the image. She got everything. You feel me? I'm throwing Tyler Bentley in her. I ain't gonna cut. And she. I'm gonna go Vay. But they right. need to push a little bit more. No, no, I'm gonna take that back. I ain't gonna lie, I'm going Kayla Wan. Okay. That's what's up. I never heard. Tyler Bentley and Pretty Bread. Okay, that's what's up. Now, I recently did an interview with Sean Cotton. And uh he bigged up, he showed love to Detroit. Um, uh, we talked about um when I had my bachelor's party, I brought him out here. That was the first time he ever came to Detroit. That's when he interviewed uh Dex Osama. Mm-hmm. Um and he was talking about it was crazy back then, this is 2015, where the world is starting to get to hear Detroit, but everybody's saying, oh, they rap off beat. They out of pocket. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The glasses is ugly. And now here it is. The cadence is sticking. Do you feel like, even though, do you still feel like, although people are used to Detroit, Detroit do kind of rap off beat or out of pocket a little bit? I never thought we rapped off beat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know where they get that from. Probably like just, uh, I guess they say we got proper lingo in a way. Yeah, that's probably what it is. And they got like a down south, you know, type of sound. Yeah, but she, I don't, I don't never feel like if I know we all beat, it's like a, I'm gonna know if somebody rapping on beat. You feel me? Yeah. Uh, but no, I don't feel like that. I feel like we always been on beat. <laughs> do Do you feel like Detroit and Cali or the Bay kind of got similar? Oh yeah. oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Them are cause it's like I don't even know how that worked. Like, <laughs> yeah, for bro, sure. That shit is crazy. We definitely sound just like each other. Yeah. What's the difference between um, Detroit hip hop and Flint hip hop? Oh, Flint sound like Cali a lot too. Like, probably more than us in a way, bro. Mm. I ain't gonna lie. But uh, what was the question again? What, what's the in a, when it come to rap styles? Mm. Or sound sonically, uh, what's the Flint difference between more, Flint more raw? I ain't gonna lie, and they funny as shit. Like they might say some off the wall shit. Yeah, not saying like they more raw, but they might say some raw ass funny shit. Like you know, some off the wall ass shit. Yeah, like Rio, you know what he gonna say? I'm gonna smack my grandma, or whatever he said, and <laughs> come back to some funny, and it be fire. But there's more like that, like a. Uh, some of it be playful, but it's just how they. Whoever rapping it, yeah. You, know, you got Juan J. He might be more playful than Rio, but they should. They still be bring that in there. Got you. It, 
because I seen this thing uh, recently, and I, I, I'm tapping your mind as a blogger because y'all have a lot more insight. Y'all paying attention a lot more. Uh, Ebro recently sat down and he said uh, he was talking to label heads and pretty much essentially saying hip hop is dead. Like labels are turning their mindset to more so Afrobeat things of that nature. That hip hop is starting to get left behind because it's not original. Um, Nicki Minaj saying that rap is now no longer talented people, but just popular people rapping. So you take a stripper who just popular, got 100,000, put her in the studio and tell her to rap. How do you feel about hip hop? Do you feel like it's dying? That it's dead? No, I don't feel like it's dying. I don't even know why they say something like that and they're part of it. You feel me? Yeah. It's like maybe they trying to grow in a different direction, but hell no. It's like, how you going to leave hip hop? And there's people, it, it just relates to people a different type of way. A lot of people. Yeah. Maybe, even though you can go to different genres. But hell no, I don't think it's dead. I don't even know why they say that either. And they're part of it. Because they were saying like, what it was like, it was no like hip hop album or something that reached like number one on the billboard this shit. year. Like shit ain't just going up like it used to. That's due to the digital market, though, I'm thinking. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. it was like, uh, it was hard copies and shit back then. So I think sales would have been up more and they'd get, I mean, it's like if the consumer coming inside, they're purchasing it. Mm. Um, I really don't know how that worked either, but I'm pretty sure the streams and, and the hard copies is the reason why them sales is low like that. And it could be other reasons too, as yeah. far as like, Shit. Shit we don't probably know about. I think maybe one of the biggest factors that we don't pay attention to is COVID. Oh, yeah. Changed the way that we consumed a lot of stuff. Like, you even look at movies at the theaters. Movies are struggling still because for so long we couldn't go to it. We start jumping on streaming platforms and mm-hmm. watching content that way. Lazy. And then we're open back up, but people really ain't returned to the movies either. So maybe we consuming music differently. We... Mm-hmm. We spend a lot of time listening to music on TikTok. Bro, I live music, so it's like, I don't even know how streams and shit be down. Yeah. People be having me like, who, uh, Trippy Grid just sold 30000 I think, bro. Yeah, that's and why. The only reason I know this is because I seen it on Say Cheese, and they was, like, playing a throwback of him laughing or mimicking somebody selling 30000 Yeah. Feel me, but, bro, I feel like they can go buy more than 30000 <laughs> I'm trying to figure out who buying them because I can't even tell the last time I bought. I stream it, but buy an album that one made. But if you want to sell more than thirty thousand, she grab fifty thousand and buy your own. <laughs> yeah, hey, there you go. Hey, pop your shit. Now you did more, but I don't know, bro. <laughs> but deep down, you know, I feel like the streams is better. I don't know how how they count it though. Like, yeah, plaques and shit matter too. Do you do you think with hip hop like Kodak Black taking that million dollars? To sit down, I mean, to do that verse with six nine. Do you think things like that help the culture or or or, or make it worse? Man, Kodak, my motherfucking baby. I ain't gonna lie. Like yeah. I watch Kodak, uh, up and coming type shit. I watch his growth. You know I mean? That situation, man, it fucked me up at first. But when I listen to him, and then I sit there and look, like man, that's a grown ass man. You feel me? I don't fuck with six line like I shit. It's a million dollars to it at the end of the day. Yeah, and he got whatever priorities he got to handle at home. If he needed that million, probably tax free or whatever the fuck he did with his shit. Yeah, he made it and he still was talking shit about him. I'm never gonna play the song. I ain't even heard the song. But as a blogger, six nine hit you up and say, "I got a million. I'm gonna take to- it, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna take it, bro. I'm a blogger. I'm going whatever the fuck gonna hit. Yeah, yeah." But I ain't doing no song with him. Why not? Why why not do the if song? If he give me a million, I'll do it. I'll get on that bitch hokey pokey and say some stupid shit. Would you take a hundred K? A hundred K? Yeah. Shit, it depend on how many bars I gotta run. <laughs> <laughs> why is it such a hard thing? I don't fuck with 6ix9ine, bro. I don't fuck with him. Yeah. But if it's free bands, it's free bands, bro. You feel me? Would you jump on with Gunner? I like Gunner, bro, even though you're right. <laughs> I just got hip to him this year, too. Okay. Like, you feel me? But, she when I do a song with Gunner and he was paying me, 
Hell yeah, I'm gonna do that song with him. Is it gonna go up? And I want and I want to split on the motherfucking streets. <laughs> <laughs> what you talking about? No, but shit, yeah, that bitch gonna go up for sure. But that gunner, I don't know that situation neither. But we did know he got. We do know he went on that stand and said what he said. You feel me? Yeah. But we gotta hear Thug how he gonna accept it. We don't know how they playing it. I don't know how Atlanta do it, but they they politics. I don't know what's going on over yeah. there, bro. Now with the platform being Detroit Rap News. Mm-hmm. Do you ever branch outside of Detroit? Is there ever a goal to be beyond just Detroit rap scene? I mean, Detroit is it's my home, so it's always going to be based on Detroit. But I'm always welcome to work with other, you know, other cities, yeah. other states. She Thizzler, uh, they, follow me. they follow me. Okay. Me, so I might work with them. I might go out to Cali. Like, I want to go traveling, meet the other bloggers. So. You got to come to Texas. We got... Oh, yeah, Texas, too. See, right here, because I'm in Dallas. So in Dallas, of course, you got Say Cheese. Okay. You got Real Tool. Oh, Say Cheese and, uh, oh, that's good. Yeah. So, like, I didn't even when, know he was home right there. When I started my music studio, my music studio was called Say Cheese Music Studio. So I was with Sean before Sean even. I was wondering how y'all connected up. Yeah. I'm like, like, I ain't, you just up this interview with him, and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck, he can just get him on here, and then I just, and then I want it, because I always go to people YouTube. Yeah. And I search back like they oldest video. I go find some shit. You feel me? But I, I done went to your oldest video, and I seen he been in the play. I'm like, oh, that's lit, bro. That's yeah, lit. man. We've been, we been locked in since he was just doing videos for parties. You know what I'm saying? And then I seen him transition and do his first interview. I remember sitting in the studio. I said, hey, nigga, you going to be like, Diddy of the city. You gonna go crazy. He's like, yeah, I say, yeah, you out of here. Yeah, he turned, bro. He lit. He lit. I ain't gonna lie. That but, shit lit. But, but you got them. Who else? You got real life street stars. I don't know if you ever seen them. They got like the the light bulbs. They do the interviews and it's a bunch of little white light bulbs behind the guests. I'm gonna go find uh what they call what's they call? Real life street stars. No, I'm gonna go follow them. They, they got like five hundred K subscribers. You got Boss Talk one on one. Boss Talk got like a hundred and thirty. This all out of Texas? Right in Dallas. Oh, damn. That's just Dallas. Like, when Street Lord Rook, I brought him down, took him on a whole media run on all of those spots and locked them in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that's lit. People don't realize I that about I need to go it. follow them platforms. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, man. Come And then come down, bro. And like, politic. I mean, we put, like, how we doing right now? How I reach yeah. out to you? Yeah. We sit and jump on each other platforms to cross-pollinate until some niggas start beefing. You know how bloggers do. <laughs> niggas get the beef in <laughs> ASAP. Fake beef, man. Yeah, man. But um, aspirations, though, for yourself with Detroit Rap News, man. Like, what's what's on the horizon just for yourself in the platform? Man, I want to get in them doors where I'm, like, in an A&R position. Okay. Where somebody can be like, you know, who you think about to pop out the city? And I can be like, this, this is what they going to pop, and this is why. Yeah. Had a, you know, the credentials to bag that up. Bro. I feel like I need to be in that door some type of way, some type of way. Hey, well, you got it buzzing in the city, man. I definitely appreciate you sitting with me, letting me connect, you know what I'm saying? Because I came back to the crib, and I wanted to kind of help cross Texas with um, Detroit. So, it's lit. Hey, man, well, if you ever need me, man, let's, let's lock in, man. It's on, bro. I appreciate you, bro. Hey, bro, until we meet again. Likewise. It's on two wheels, baby. Peace.